Natural dyes are basically colorants that could be derived from plants, roots, leaves, uh, animal, insects, from everywhere that we could derive the natural dyes. And uh, for example, like uh, the deep blue color dyes that could be derived from indigo plant. Also, the deep yellow color that could be derived from the turmeric root and we could make the dyes and prepare it for dyeing the textile fabrics like cotton cloths and we could use it in this way. Natural dyes could also be derived from animal based products. For example, people are using squid ink or octopus ink to color their cotton cloths. Natural dyes uh, could come from roots like this one is the turmeric root and then we could use uh, this turmeric to make a dye like this and this dye we could dissolve in the water which is little bit warm water and this will help to dye the cotton textile product. For example, this is 100 percent cotton textile product and here it is most important things to remember that all the dye, uh, turmeric dyes that may not last on the fabric after washing. So, there is a need for certain fixative agent or mordant that we use. For example, like this one is the salt water and we could use the salt water or even some vinegar water, we could use it as a modern to fix that. So, first part is like that we can dissolve the cotton cloths and the salt uh, water for about one and two hours and then after that we need to squeeze this cotton cloth and then we need to dissolve this one in the turmeric dye bath and if we could keep it for one and two hours, we could get a color on the textiles product like this. Even it is after three washes, it looks like this one. So, it can hold the turmeric dyes on the cotton cloth and make it more colorful. Here, one another things like the indigo. Indigo color is also very common and indigo comes from indifera trees or indigo plant. The deep blue color on cotton textile product actually comes for naturally from the indigo dye. In general, the indigo dyes cannot be dissolved on the water alone. In this case, we need to use or reduce that and through the reduction process by using the soda as or some hydrosulfide there. Here, what we can do that we have to put the all indigo color on the water and then all these uh, hydro strap and as well as the soda S in this bath to produce a dye bath. And then if we have a cotton fabrics, we could dissolve this cotton fabrics in this particular color. And in this case, what we can see that it will be initially like a green color dyed product there. And uh, this textile will looks like a green color initially. However, when it will be out of this dye bath, just after oxidation in the air, gradually it will start to give a blue color on this textile product. And then it looks really nice, which is natural as well as uh, it has the good fixative power on that. If we want, we could add little bit salt to make it more first on that textile product. History of natural dyes is about 5000 years old and many ancient civilization uh, using this natural dyes from long time. But in the mid of 19th century, we got a lot of synthetic dyes and that synthetic dyes actually declined the usage of nat natural dyes in the field. However, in the 21st century, the consumers are more conscious. They are health conscious, they are environmental conscious. So, what they are doing? They are trying to use the natural dyes and on natural fiber to get a colored textile product. In this way, that is why these all natural fibers and the natural dyes are actually sustainable for the environment. At the same time, 
they actually prohibit us to get exposure from different uh, hazardous chemical and also the waste that generated by these all synthetic dyes. Although there are a lot of synthetic dyes that are most cost effective as well as quick to dye the fabric or color the fabrics, but there are still options. Those who are really environmental conscious and health conscious, they could go for the natural dyes. And natural dyes are really sustainable for the environment. And also, they have no hazardous effect on our skins. That we could produce it at home. Like this kit, uh, we could get it uh, in the indigo dye color for this one. And then we could use it uh, at home and to dye our cotton textile product using the dye bath. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.